Hi, it's Tim for Digital Woodworking and today I've got a last minute holiday project. Most of us receive tons of Christmas cards every year and we don't really have a great way to display them. So for example, already we've got a pretty good pile going from friends, relatives, uh, business, all kinds of stuff, Christmas cards. Now normally in our family we display them around the bottom edges or the sill of a window and such, but you can't really see them or appreciate them. So what I came up with was an, a variation of a project that I did some years ago at the Mark Adams School. I had created this laser cut tree here. So what I'm going to do is make a smaller versions of the trees and I'm going to stick them in this grooved board. Now all I did was take table saw cuts and I'm able to mount this eighth inch, eighth inch thick piece of plywood perfectly in here. And this will form a background behind uh, the cards that will display. Now this was just a test, but I'll probably end up with a three, three and a half foot board here with several lines of grooves in here to show the cards. So apologize for the noise in my uh, storeroom in the basement, but I have the Dremel LC40 laser cutter just completing the, the cuts for this project. So to make this, you need a PDF file and the PDF file can be read by most laser cutters and then you can, you can simply cut them out of an eighth inch plywood. Now if you don't have a laser cutter, there's other ways to make the same project. Using the same file, you could use uh, a CNC to be able to cut out the trees with a small bit like an eighth inch bit. But if you again, if you don't have a digital tool, you could use like a scroll saw. And to do that, you'd print out the PDF pages and spray mount them onto a piece of plywood, use them as your guide and cut out the trees. Then all you have to do is cut out a groove board to whatever uh, satisfaction that you like, whatever length that works for you, and then the project is complete. So it looks like the Dremel is just about done, and uh, I'll put the whole thing together and show you what it looks like in the end. And for Tim at Digital Woodworking, I hope you have a great holiday season. We'll see you again next year. Thanks again.